Hickok 45 here with a TX-22 from Taurus. I think I'll just start out smoking a little pot right there. <laughs> and a tin can. After all, it's a 22. Oh, and I see a tin can on top of a two liter. I wonder if I can pop that off without breaking the two liter. All right, that is a, here's another 12 ounce. <laughs> There's a can right there. It. Yeah, I gotta take six o'clock home. Needs it. Now, so far, it has not needed it. Let's try it a little more. Here's a tin can. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Mr. Cowboy. Yeah. Let's put one of them over there on the gong. Uh, uh, yeah, it's more I can't even see. I'm going to come back to the cowboy. I knew I just had one or two left. Okay. <coughs> Smokey's getting to me. So, yes, the uh, TX-22, it's not a new gun. I know it's been out a little while. I'm sorry. We're late getting to it. We don't rush. We like to take our time. <laughs> We're too busy shooting Henry rifles, right? <laughs> or 4570 single shots or just whatever else it might be but uh this uh firearm has been out a while in fact it was the uh, 2019 guns and ammo gun of the year right yeah so uh you know guns and ammo has a certain amount of uh, prestige at least it always has I used to read it my gosh when i was a, almost a child but anyway uh you know that's the designation and uh, so it was a, a really nice offering a couple of years ago 2019 i recall seeing some reviews on it at the time and was well a little surprised you know we all know the history uh with taurus and uh that it was really well received and uh and and very reliable and guess what that's been our experience so far okay it's been very reliable i shouldn't say that out loud should i because <laughs> we'll have some problems with it but uh it's it's done fine we've shot it uh, a fair amount we really have you know, cleaned it two or three times taken it apart uh you know it just is doing very well we've shot it with a suppressor which we're going to do now and uh you know in keeping with the title of this video right so since we have a 22 suppressor, and again, we appreciate uh, SilencerCentral.com furnishing this fine 22, Banish 22 suppressor. We're gonna pop that on there and take a few shots. This adapter comes with uh, the pistol. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put that on. And you screw that in there, and then that way it will fit. Okay, the threads will match up. So put that on, and let me take this apart it has a uh, 7075 aluminum frame or a slide rather and it's uh, i think black anodized or whatever three dot sights uh, rear sights are adjustable windage and elevation i did adjust the windage a little bit uh it was i thought it was shooting just a hair to the right i think it was and so i did a minor amount of adjusting there has a ambidextrous safety uh you can reverse the uh, mag release put it over here if you want to if you're wrong-handed if you're left-handed the trigger actually it's a little different trigger <coughs> it's a ingenious design as i understand and let me get a drink while john's showing you that but it has all the safety features All right, breathing too much gun smoke today. But uh, I think it was that cigar, right, John? But it, it yeah, that's reversible. And the trigger is, uh, they're really proud of the trigger, and they should be. I think it's a good trigger because it doesn't have that, you know, that extra piece on it, but yet it still is, uh, has a block in there and then on the striker. So, uh, and it feels good. That's what you and I are most concerned about. I won't snap it too much since it's a 22, but. It has some take up and it comes back to a wall, a very distinct wall right there. And then click, I, I like it in a short reset. It, uh, 
the kind of tree I really like. Okay, now it's not a combat firearm or anything, so some of that's maybe not quite as important, but it's a target gun, so maybe it's more important in some ways. Uh, what else about that? The grip feels very good. Feels very good. And let me show you how it comes apart. And of course, it's unloaded. You, you do have to snap it to uh, take it apart, okay? And you take a little pressure off, pull these things down, just bring it forward about an inch, and straight up comes right off, okay? And it, uh, it, it really has the feel and you know, and even the look of, I don't know, a SIG or a Glock or something, M&P. And it's, it's kind of large in that sense. I don't know, maybe Glock 19 size or something. But you don't get the feeling you're holding a 22. Other than the, the weight maybe is, is fairly light. Okay, the Banish 22 and the TX 22. What a combination. They must both be for 22. So we're okay here. All right, this ammo is, uh, is just the Bulk Federal. It's a... Uh, Apparently subsonic because it's fairly quiet. Uh, this is to some CCI. I don't know if there's any difference. It might be just a little uh, slower, but it's all about the same. And uh, yeah, if you got a suppressor, now it, it makes almost anything a little less noisy, right? Even if it's supersonic, but if it's subsonic, it's a little more more fun, right? You're taking more advantage of having a suppressor. <clears throat> so let's shoot a little bit. See if you hit anything suppressed. Now the cats can go take a nap. We're finished shooting, right? As far as they're concerned. <laughs> All right, now, I know some of you get mad at me when I shoot uh, steel with a suppressor. So I'll shoot a few other things, too. How about a two-liter? Well, let's hit it. Smack. It is fun to hear it smack into stuff like that two-liter right there. What am I doing? There we go. <laughs> I got to get my... Uh, Self on target. Let's try that orange one there. Oh, come on now. Am I going high or low? Let's see. Now, let's try those two liters. Okay. Mr. Orange two liter, you smart aleck. <clears throat> you smart aleck. There we go. <laughs> I'll get on target. I didn't move that side, I hope. All right, let's try the gong. Nice. I love that sound. I've been, I'm having to use a six o'clock hole, and I've got to remember that. Okay. Let me put a little more ammo in and try it again. Uh, what did I not tell you about? Okay, this thing sells for about three fifty. Uh, that's the MSRP, and probably you know, when firearms are available again, you'll be able to find it for less than that. Uh, maybe even now, I don't know. If you see it for less money, let us know. It may be out there for 300, I don't, just don't know. But it does seem to be a, a, a nice pistol. It really does. Uh, I, I believe what I was seeing now. Now, you may have a different experience, let us know. Okay, but uh, semi-automatic pistols just have a way of not being very reliable after a few shots of 22, because 22 is typically dirty ammo and uh, more inconsistent than center fire and all that. And so you're asking a lot of uh, you know one of these, but this thing uh, has been surprisingly reliable. I think we had one round since we've had it, and we have shot quite a bit that uh, that just didn't go off. I don't know, it was, it was dirt or uh, kind of a light primer strike, or well, there's no primer. <laughs> light strike, I guess, right? Light rim strike or something. And But other than that, so far, we've just not had anything. So uh, but that's always good news with any. I don't care who made it, if it's SIG, Glock, uh, Smith and Wesson, you name it. Uh, that's good news. Uh, no matter who the maker is, if uh, they have a reliable semi-automatic 22 long rifle pistol, and one of the advantages of this one is it holds uh, 
16 in a mag, you know, you get two magazines. A lot of these are just like 10 round, you know. And of course, you know more about the competition for this probably than, than I do. The MP22, the SR22 from Ruger, Walther's P22, the Glock 44. There's, there's quite a few different pistols out there. But, uh, you know, and most, I guess you'd say most 22s like this are blowback. You know, this is striker fire, but it's, it's blowback. And, uh, you know, it's nothing exotic about it. Like I say, you, you can get uh, threaded barrel or non-threaded. If you don't plan to ever put a suppressor on it, maybe you don't want, want that. I don't know. So, uh, anyway. So, you have, the only thing with a suppressor is your sights sometimes are not high enough to, to be able to, to shoot quite as well. But they're still fun. They're still fun to mess with. This was not too bad in that regard. All right, let's take a few more shots here. All right, let me put a couple more on this, this paper. Do I? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think something's back there. Let's hit that uh, bowling pin swinging there. Yeah, how nice. See, you know, part of it is uh, that trigger is really nice. But I find myself, uh, I don't know, like, like I've done a little bit, like I'm jerking it a little bit. Once you get the rhythm of that trigger and, and where it breaks, though, it, it's really nice. That stop sign, I'm going to put some in. Yeah, so you just put them right there together. Got a nice break. Woo! So crazy. Wow, rocket. <laughs> a rocket ship. Oh, man. How about a bowling pin? Boom. Yeah. Uh, fine pistol. I might have to have one of these. Yeah, I don't shoot as much 22 as some of you do. Uh, probably, for sure. <laughs> but I, I like it. I kind of miss it. Uh, and one of the things about 22 is that it, it just gets dirty and starts hanging up. I, even my favorite rifles, whether it's the Marlin Model 60, the 1022, even my Model 41 Smith & Wesson, which is a really nice target uh, you know, pistol and 22 long rifle, it gets dirty after a while and wants to hang up on you. But uh, so far, this one has been very good in that regard. Okay, I'm going to bear down now. I'm going to try that red square plate. Yeah, yeah, if I just take good aim and, and get a good trigger break, I'm going to try that red plate on the right. That one's kind of tough for me for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> the reason is you got to have your sights on target and take careful aim, right? All right, how about the big gong? No, let's try that little round plate hanging down there in the middle of the range. Yeah, accurate even with a suppressor. Well, accurate enough, put it that way. Let's come back here and let's knock the heck out of these arms on the... Uh, this machine right here, how's that? The tree. What's wrong? They're not going around. Uh, what's wrong with this thing? That's amazing, isn't it? How about the gong before we run out of ammo? I don't want to neglect it. Ah, uh, sweet. Oh, uh, man, suppressors are fun. I don't think I've shot that bowling pin over there. Yeah. Yeah, I have now. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You do get a little blowback with suppressors. I've, I felt a little bit of dirt come back at me there. And, and be aware of that. You know, that's just like, the smoke. Ah, gun smoke. It's what I live for. Gun smoke, right? <laughs> but, uh... Be aware of that uh, whenever you put a suppressor on a firearm, uh, one thing it does, the reason it works, is it's slowing things down. It's got baffles in there and capturing stuff and uh, slowing it all down. And so it forces some of it back out this way more so. So your gun gets a little more dirty than it normally would, and you may even get some back out of the action. That's supposed to be one of the features of this firearm, though, where it's open on the side so you don't get as much back in your face if you're shooting it uh, suppressed. But, uh, and, and again, that's all the more uh, testimony for this firearm 
because we've shot it probably mostly suppressed. You'll see some other videos we'll do with it. And uh, it, uh, you know, so it's gotten dirtier. That puts it, the firearm under more of a test, a stress test, I guess you could say, and especially 22, for all the reasons I discussed, it's dirty ammo. And uh, it's been very reliable. So, uh, you know, again, we know the history, Taurus has had some sketchy history. I, hate, I don't mean to uh, uh, bring that up more than I should, but the reason I do is that in recent years, it seems to be more of a thing of the past. We've done, what, at least four Taurus pistols in the last you know, year or two, and they've all worked flawlessly, okay? And so, in a way, I, I bring that up to brag about uh, Taurus, at least our experience lately. You know, now, you may have some horror stories yourself. Uh, feel free to share positive, negative, whatever. We, you know, we, we don't have a dog in a fight. But, uh, but I'm just pleased. It's always good that another gun comes out that, that works. And, uh, and so uh, let me know what your experience has been with this firearm. I know some other uh, people who do videos have, have shot this like months or years ago. Like I say, we're always late trying something, but I did make a mental note. Hmm, that's nice. We'll to, I put that, in fact, it was on the list for a long, long time uh, to try that one out sometime and uh, and see if you know we have good experience as well. And we have, we have. So the Banish 22 on there, it's warm for some reason. And uh, this is the TX 22, old 16 in a magazine. Uh, retails supposedly for about 350, 349. Uh, fully ambi, even the trigger is ambidextrous. The sights are ambidextrous, so it's, it's pretty much fully ambi, uh, except maybe the slide lock. Uh, and it's a, it's a pistol you might want to try if you're looking for one like this. If I were you, I'd go ahead and get, if it's available, the threaded barrel for why, why not. You, you may think, I, I have no interest in a suppressor, but sure as the world, two or three years down the road, you start getting interested in it and wish you had gotten that barrel. But yeah, I guess you could always get the barrel. Uh, afterwards. So anyway, I'm going to shut up and let y'all go. We appreciate the people that help us, and uh, that's mainly you all, but uh, everybody that helps us, it's greatly appreciated, and I'm uh, glad you came out tonight, okay, to smell some gun smoke with me. Life is good. Oh, fire. It's a long walk from where I had to shoot that. Oh, man. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Since you're here, I want to let you know about our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall, talongungrips.com. Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick-on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips, so go check them out. Also, Ballastall, they're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water-soluble and non-toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastall, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok45.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45, Twitter, Hickok45, Instagram, The Real Hickok45. And also, I have an Instagram page where I post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that. John, J-O-H-N underscore H-I-C-K-O-K-4-5 on Instagram. And uh, the next thing you have to do is watch more videos.